guys, my name is Amro from the Ramblin' Richardsons. Welcome back to the channel. So, today I want to do something a little bit different. I just want to share a couple of tips that I've found that help me not feel so overwhelmed when I'm trying to pick out what I'm going to have to eat for my family for the week or the next two weeks or so, try to plan out several meals. I have learned that if you have a cookbook that you just absolutely love, that you know that you want, go ahead and spend the money to get it. So we visited Magnolia Table. Um, we went on a trip to the Texas State Fair. You can go and check out that video up in the corner here um but on our way back home we stopped at magnolia table in waco and ate and i bought the cookbook so this is one i spent the money on now you don't have to break your bank spending money on cookbooks well i got this book and many other books like this one that i have in my in my repertoire uh i got this from a bookstore that was closing I waited until a local bookstore closed and they put everything on liquidation and they were selling their books for 10 cents a piece. It was uh, Hastings. So I went down to Hastings with four or five bucks in my pocket and I got like 40 books. Stayed mostly in the food section and I got a bunch of cookbooks like this one, the Keto Reset Diet. Got this for 10 since so the first and my most favorite tip is to go and look for bookstores that are closing down that are closing shop or going out of business or just if you're out shopping just window shopping go into your local bookstore go see what they got on clearance you may be able to find something like this uh, on very very cheap maybe not as cheap as 10 cents but maybe two dollars five dollars which is a fraction of the cost of what the book retail value was 27.99 this book was 27.99 i got it for 10 cents so and if you got a tablet something like a kindle fire or um or kindle one of those kindle notebooks um or uh ipad or something like that you can probably find all of these books as an ebook for a fraction of the price as well. If you're into having your books all be digital, every time you go up to the checkout counter, there's the Better Homes and Gardens, there's the Food Network, they, uh, magazines that are right there on the aisle while you're checking out. And what I do is, well, I pick a long line and I go and I grab one of the magazines off the rack and I flip to the cook cookbook section where they have the recipes and I just take my phone and I just snap pictures of the recipes. You don't have to pay for the magazine, just open up, snap those pictures and you're good to go. <clears throat> if you're like me and cooking's a big thing in your family, your aunts and uncles, your grandmother and grandfathers, they probably have cookbooks or like Better Homes and Gardens or their own cookbooks or stuff like this that they may be willing to part with. And so you may be able to go and ask them, you know, hey, do you ever use any of these cookbooks anymore? Maybe I can have them. And I'm sure that they don't most of the time are going to mind if they aren't using them to gift them to you to build up your arsenal so you have stuff that you can go to when you maybe don't have an internet connection maybe the internet's out that day in your area for maintenance okay well what am i gonna do i'm gonna look at my books and see what i can pull up my books and make my grocery list another big one on getting free recipes or free uh recipe books when you're going to get your slow cooker when you go to buy your instapot when you go buy your grill when you go get your toaster oven i will bet dollars to donuts that inside every single one of those 
is a little sleeve booklet of recipes, meals that you can get, and a website that would direct you to more recipes that you can cook with that particular piece of equipment that you're buying. So every single time you go and you purchase a toaster oven or an air fryer or an Instapot or whatever the case is, look for those little booklets that are inside there that have recipes in them. And they're most of the time are gonna be crowd pleasers, burgers, spaghetti and meatballs, things like that. They're going to be recipes most people are going to be able to handle. And the last one is the most widely known one is getting on the internet. Follow something like the Food Network. I subscribe to the Food Network's newsletter. And so every week I get a newsletter of several different recipes. There are tons of websites out there that are like this and places like the test kitchen or the food network or better homes and garden probably have an email list that you can get on that you can then receive recipes where you don't even have to go and look for them they just send them to you and if you don't like it just delete it but if you like it save it maybe put it in a folder in your email inbox another thing is the social media we love social media. You're on social media right now on this platform. So if you come across somebody who's made a really awesome looking dish or is like, here's a crowd pleasing meal for my family, they're probably going to have more recipes that you will enjoy or that you will want to make for your family. If you come across at least one of these influencers or people out there putting out this type of content, they're probably going to have a ton of content like that. I randomly scroll until I find somebody who looks like they're cooking something super delicious, and then I go to their page and I look at all the stuff that they're cooking. If I see more than four or five things in the first couple of scrolls, I'm going to follow that person and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to save that reel or I'm going to save that story or post on my Instagram or on my Facebook or on my TikTok. So those are going to be my top tips on figuring out how to make a meal plan, how to meal prep for the week. So the first thing is, is go and look for bookstores that are closing down. You can find books on the cheap cheap or just go into your bookstore randomly and look at the clearance section if the price is right go ahead and get the book or just pony up the dough and get it yourself if you know that's going to be a cookbook that you're going to use on the regular make sure that when you're going to the grocery store you pick up those food magazines while you're waiting in line go to where the recipes are and take a few quick snapshots of the full recipe free recipes right there every single time you go to the grocery store. They're gonna have different magazines from different providers, different recipes every single time you go and you don't have to pay a dime for them. Number three, whenever you go and you purchase something like a new toaster oven or an Instapot, look for that little leaflet that's in there, that little booklet that they send with it. It's going to give you some recipes right from the jump, plus a website you can go to for way more. Ask your friends and family if they've got other cookbooks that they don't use. I'm sure that they're willing to depart with those books, get them off the shelf if they're gathering dust and you're willing to use them. And then number one, go into social media, follow people who are making tasty meals or go and get a part of a newsletter from a website like Food Network or the Test Kitchen or Better Homes and Garden. Get them to send you emails with tasty recipes every single week. So that's going to be the top five ways of getting recipes ready for your meal prep this week. I'm going to wrap this video up, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. Go down there if you could and like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell for me so you never miss any of the videos that we post. And like I say, life is about the journey, not the destination. And we will see you on the next 
video. Peace.